Hey, 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 it's John Hope Bryant, and this is Money and Wealth on the Black Effect Network on iHeart Radio. And I'm dealing with a trending topic. There's a young lady, mother, who is in the store with her child who really wants a toy, it appears, and he wants her to buy it. And he's smart enough to know that mom uses, well, her credit card. It appears all the time. And uh, it's adorable. You have to look at the clip. I'll play a little bit of it. Um, but um, the kid is very, very smart. And um, says, Mommy, why don't you buy with your credit card? And she says, this is very telling. I don't have anything, any room on any of my credit cards. Now, this is um, the state of America, really. Um, credit card debt was just under a trillion dollars in 2022, I think that's right. By 2023, it was 1.1 trillion, actually 1.129 trillion. Um, credit card debt went up 100 billion uh, plus uh, in the course of a year. And in a quarter, uh, in one quarter of a year, it went from uh, 1.079 trillion to 1.129 trillion, uh, which is, uh, in, in short form, a lot of money. <laughs> and uh, why did it go up literally uh, $100 billion in a quarter? Um, because people got used to the stimulus money uh, and uh, thought that, was, that party was going to live forever. And it's one of the reasons I, bought, I wrote the book um, which is now a bestseller, thank you very much, uh, why I wrote the book, uh, Financial Literacy for All, uh, and why I want everybody to buy it and read it, is, uh, and sit at your kitchen table and have a conversation with your children, uh, so they understand that, hello, credit cards are not cash, it's not your money, you gotta pay it back. Uh, you know, credit cards were only created um, in the later part of the 20th century, MasterCard, Visa, uh, Discover, et cetera, et cetera. Those were some of the pioneers and uh, created, I think the first credit card was actually created as an offshoot of Bank of America. Uh, but uh, it's not cash. You gotta pay it back. And this this was a teachable moment with the parent and the child. The, the mother missed an opportunity to, to educate her child uh, that, hey, baby, um, credit cards aren't cash. It's not my money. Uh, and I'm tapped out, like we, we can't live on credit cards uh, and have a conversation, actually open up your financial books and records, pull out the credit cards and show the kid, the kid's obviously very smart, show the kid like, you know, what happens if you're just paying interest and how much interest are you paying on each credit card and explain wants versus needs and then let the kid make a decision uh, with her about, you know, uh, do they want to buy some food and save for, you know, uh, a, 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 a vacation or something the kid would really want and pay for it uh, six months or a year from now? Or do you want this little toy right now? It's going to go on your credit card. It's going to explode mom's budget, stress mom out and put mom in debt and the, the family and, and like have a family conversation about it. I just think there was a moment. Like rainbows only follow storms. You cannot have a rainbow without a storm first. You can't grow without legitimate suffering. There was a moment, there was an opportunity here uh, to, to, to turn the kids turmoil <laughs> and torture and not getting a toy into a teachable moment and make the kid and a co-investor in his own future and compassionate to mom and an understanding of how hard mom's working. But this credit card debt is really a big deal and we've you know it can't keep going up like this it's approaching the level of student loan debt um, it's dangerous it it will not go away uh, and it um, it's t it's 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 super you know well dangerous because you can swipe it you know it, uh, in your pocket and you tend to swipe it uh, at times when you shouldn't because maybe you're depressed or angry or frustrated and you shop, you're doing shop therapy, shopping therapy to, to feel better for a moment. Um, and if you're at a, 
you know, a department store, uh, that shiny credit card may have a 25%, 28% interest rate on it. So anyway, the point was that we, we came out of the pandemic, there was all the stimulus money, we adjusted our lifestyle, some of us, for the stimulus money. We thought that was income, it was not. Uh, it was temporary stimulus to try to, you know, level set your loss of income and so on and so forth during that period of time. But some people thought, well, I'm rich now or whatever. And they just decided to live it up and they're still trying to live it up, but you're living it up now because there's no stimulus money coming. There's no stimulus money coming. <laughs> they're not trying to live it up on borrowed time, credit cards. And Ed Bastian Young has this great quote, to live in a system of free enterprise and not to understand the rules of free enterprise must be the very definition of slavery. Uh, some, at some point, you got to pay this stuff back. I've been there before. I know the feeling. Uh, it, it's easy to swipe and, and charge, you know, 300 bucks. And it's, it's really hard to pay it off $25 minimum payment at a time when most of that $25 is going to interest. Okay, anyway, that's the trending topic for the moment. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, let's have a conversation with family and friends. This was a moment for the mother to have uh, an educational moment with her child about how much does it cost to run a household. And she's tapped out. She's, it was very brave of her to actually say, I don't have any money left, any limit left on any of my cards, which is, which is, what a, which is going to also tank her credit score, by the way, because the most damaging part of your credit score, sorry, the most volatile part of your credit score is the part that's tied to consumer debt, credit cards. Uh, the higher, it's not about the limit being higher, it's the balance against that limit. So it doesn't matter whether you have a $100,000 limit or a $1,000 limit. If you, In fact, if you have a $1,000 limit and you're using $200 of it, you're actually in much better shape than if you have a $100,000 limit and you're using $90,000 of it. I hope that that made some sense. All right, this is John Hope Bryant, and this is the trending topic of the week.